Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video with RCB. Today we're going to be going over when to scale out. How to know when to take those profits and move on. We're going to actually give you an example from one of our previous streams on Twitch.tv. If you want to check us out there, you can just search Rocket Catching Bob, the same username here on YouTube. And I do live trading at 8.30 a.m. until usually lunch and sometimes thereafter. GOVX was one of the plays we called moment by moment, dip by, scale outs, and all of this. So let's just go right into it. Uh, we didn't actually play this until after we saw this move here. We waited. We didn't even watch it. We actually have a scanner that calls out some of the plays for us and keeps us alert so we don't miss plays. So what I did know about this play, there was a consistent resistance at 490s. 489, 490s just couldn't break whenever we came to open in the morning. It actually faded off. And of course, there's no reason to try to play this once it's kind of lost its volume. There was nothing there. But later on in the day, we did end up breaking 490s and it took off all the way to 520s. I actually started my stream or talking to my stream like, hey, give me a dip. Give me a dip. And you can go back and watch that VOD if you want. Later on, after that thing took off, we actually did indeed get our dip, which I am super excited to say that we called it perfectly. This thing we knew if it broke $5, there would be a lot of people who got um who got stopped out of it so there is where we actually jumped into it it actually broke the five dollars and it didn't panic out too badly so we were able to jump back in at 498 to 502 that's where we caught the dip and then we started riding it upward you got a nice jump right afterward they went all the way up to 536 you could scale in this area of course but if you see this I like that we'd already kind of broke the 490s resistance line. I thought that we had a great entry. And then thirdly, we got a nice pop off of this. So I was even more encouraged that there was going to be some more momentum in here that we could continue into. So later on, we actually did get a sell off and we got another wick that came down to about 505. So what I did is I drew a line from this bottom wick where I had entered until the next wick I told myself my plan is if it breaks this uptrend then I am going to get out that way I don't even have to take a loss I'm actually going to be profitable so I don't have really much to worry about there and I figured if we did break this higher um, this higher high slash high of day we would get another short squeeze in which we did so this I called in the stream was our first scale outs and we got some nice ones in this 550s to 560s area. Super happy for a lot of the community that watches us here on Twitch who banked on this play also. This right here is already 10% from the beginning of the play. We had $5 and now it is 550s. Then we actually got more consolidation. We uh, saw another big tail to the downside. So I took my last or my previous um, trend line from that wick and I drew it across to the next thinking hey you're getting higher lows we're actually grinding it out and looking like we could uh, make another push so maybe on this first one you're scaling out 25 to 50 percent of your account or 50 percent of your position that you've taken into play you always want to take gains into the strength you don't want to just kind of sell them when there's red candles, you want to really realize that you're selling into the greed of people trying to buy in so much because they're FOMOing, you know? Either that or people who are short are actually caught up in it and they are, you know, they're covering their position because they're getting scared themselves. After that, we could draw another line saying, hey, here's our top of the line resistance where we got to. If it breaks this line, we should see another short squeeze. In which we actually did like I said we called it moment by moment called the dip by and called every single scale out that we had live on stream I actually think we scaled out a little early in this area because we didn't get as much of a squeeze that I thought we would 
Then later, we actually got a bigger squeeze, and we moved up to about 6.10s, 6.12s, and that's where I had made my last scale out. So if you want to look at it, you can look at it like this. You can take 25 to 50% out on this first push, okay? And we'll put slash 50, which is always good, right? Taking gains on the way up is a fantastic idea. I think it's the way I've consistently made money in the market. And it's just safer because if it goes back down, at least you took something off the table. So here, I'm just going to say it like this. I took 50% off of this just because the market's slow. You're not sure if it's going to keep going or it's just going to fizzle out. So why not just take 50% off the table? You're lowering your risk. You're already up 10 to maybe 12% gains from $5 here. And then secondly, you have another push. So this is actually the second uh, high a day break. Actually, it's, let's see, number one. This is number two. And this is number three. All right. Actually, you get a fourth break here. So you can scale out on any of these. You see the big volume candles, all that strength coming in, all the short coverings. Everyone fearful on the short side take those gains be happy with their profits and move along at this point on number five i was all out i told the stream hey if it keeps going no problem that's great i'm cool with it if it just goes to the the moon then you know i just got to be happy with what i got and uh that's what it is so we were all out at this point say 50 percent. number three we got out 25 percent. number four another 25 percent. all out some of you guys might say hey keep some on the table and uh, write it out. Yeah, sure, you could do that. Just don't hold that much. Hold 25% max. I wouldn't, you know, in a market that's slower, I wouldn't really count on it going to the moon. It's always better to have those profits. We actually called it almost perfectly. We got on number four, and it actually went to number five. So kudos to everyone who made money on this. GOVX is just a great example of knowing when to scale out into strength and being happy with your gains and not becoming too greedy and not letting FOMO get to you because you could have chased this play at any point. Maybe you chased this 529s and it came all the way to 510s. Your risk is out of line. You're in a bad position. You're probably going to cut down here at 510 and then it's going to go back up after. Maybe that's what happened to some people. So just always keep in mind this is a great example to go back and look at. And uh, I hope you guys have learned something from this video. We'll make more. Make sure you, if you like the video that you leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're not following us on Twitch, go over there and search Rocket Catching Bob and you can find us live 8.30 a.m. Eastern until usually like lunchtime. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope it helps.